Hola. Tis I, Alicia. How are you? I hope you're doing well. We're going to look into Alexi Treviso. This is the case of the, I believe she was a high school senior. Um, she dropped, she went to the hospital. She claimed she had never had sex. She wasn't pregnant. No possibility, no chance, no how. Ends up going to the bathroom at the hospital um, and delivers a baby, then puts it in the trash and puts a trash bag on top of it and then comes back to the exam room and tries to play it off like nothing's going wrong. So fast forward, the um, her defense attorney is trying to blame the hospital, saying that they are the cause for all of the problems here. And uh, I'm not buying it, but... I'm just curious. Um, I recently saw that a university, I guess, where she's going to school, there's like over 14,000 signatures of people do not want her at that school. Um, so things aren't going well in uh, Alexi's life. So let's see first. Um, does this defense attorney even believe the story that he's, I mean, I know everybody deserves an entitled to a defense. I get it. Sometimes I hear these defenses and I'm like, really, 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 uh, didn't know I was pregnant and it wasn't breathing. So I just stuffed it in a trash can. Well, then why didn't you notify, uh, the hospital that it wasn't breathing here? I, you know, had no clue. Putting in the trash can just says, uh, it didn't mean anything to her, right? It was a baby little boy, not an it. Uh, so does this defense attorney really think that this, uh, his strategy with blaming the hospital and, uh, protocols and X, Y, Z are going to help Alexi? He does. He thinks this is an excellent legal defense. This is the best strategy to move forward with. You know, there's also going to be, oh God, we're going to bring up childhood trauma, perhaps, in this defense. Um, it is what it is. You know, this is what happened. The hospital did that. You know, they need to reevaluate their policies, allegedly, in my opinion. It's a like hard reading, in case you didn't know. Nothing here is fact. Um, yes, he thinks he's going to be victorious with this strategy. And I, this card here is telling me that we might be pulling in some uh, past childhood trauma to, you know, fluff up the defense. Um, there was a death here, obviously, but we're moving forward. It was like, you know, she just didn't know. She didn't have a place to go. Oh, this might be not just like childhood trauma. This could be the difficult relationship with Alexi and her mama, which if you've seen any of those uh, body cam videos, interesting. Um where this is like, what was she to do? She was in such a tough position. She couldn't disappoint her mom or couldn't tell her mom. Da, 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 da. He thinks this is going to play well. All right. Let's just clarify. Is Alexi's uh, defense attorney, is he going to throw uh, her mom under the bus if he needs to? Perhaps. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I just read cards. Ooh. Maybe not necessarily um, throw Alexi's mom under the bus as the reason for why Alexi couldn't come forward. However, this would say that there is other family secrets in the past that they might need to bring forth. And she's basically had to fend for herself because no one protected her. And this is why she went forth and um, she developed these coping skills through all of this uh, turmoil, we'll say, that she went through um, growing up. She, there's abandonment issues, apparently. Um, there's all sorts of, like, extenuating family dramas. So I'm not going to say it's necessarily just going to focus on mom. There's all sorts of other things that then led her into certain coping mechanisms for why she um, did what she did. Okay. Allegedly, my opinion, not fact. Uh What, what does Alexi f feel about what happened? Like, 
She had to have known she was pregnant. I, I don't think that she didn't know that. Let's see. Let's ask. How much did Alexi like know of her pregnancy? I know there's people that are totally clueless. I wasn't. I knew I was pregnant. I knew when I was giving birth. I, I was there. Whole thing. No, she knew. <clears throat> I had ten of pentacles. That's a family. <clears throat> King of cups. <sighs> That's kind of like this. Sometimes, okay, traditionally or the original, we'll say interpretation, would be, oh, this is a dad-like figure that gives wise counsel. A lot of times when it comes up, though, it also means I don't give a two flying fucks. I don't. I'm not attached to this at all. Just saying. Allegedly. Eek. She's looking to get out of the storm. The storm's here. I'm looking to get into smooth sailing waters. Um, I think there, there's, there was, my opinion, there was a lot of thinking and planning about what was going to happen in the future once we got down the pike with deliverance of the baby. And then she thought she was going to pull this off, allegedly, in my opinion, Knight of Pentacles, um, trying to offer up this story of like, well, you know, I'm a good girl and my word should be trusted and I've never done anything wrong. Um, yeah. She knew. She knew, my opinion, what I'm seeing here in the car, she knew. She knew she was with child. And I think she was making a plan to be without child upon leaving that hospital. So why'd she even go to the hospital? Why would you even go if... if... <sighs> Maybe she's just young and dumb. Maybe that's why. I don't know. There's this idea that this is my problem, I'm going to take care of it, right? This is my problem, I'm going to take care of it. And um, like there's some idea that she knows that she has to go to a hospital. Not, I mean, you can watch Sister Wives and all these crazy women just giving birth in bathtubs and you have to listen to it on TV and it's horrible. But there's some idea that she knows like it there's no other alternative. I can't just go to a park. I can't go to a car. I can't go to a bathtub and just have this baby. Some reason, something internally is telling her she has to go to the hospital. Yet, she thinks she's going to get over there and get through, through the whole process of uh, delivering the baby and then be able to walk out of there and just maybe make up some story like, oh, you know, I fell asleep at my friend's house. But there's the legacy there. The Ten of Pentacles. There's the legacy of the family, the child. It's like she knew why she was going to the hospital. Um, there's an idea there was a story, a story that was going to be told. There's something she had already planned out, and she was working on this story and how it was going to be delivered. Yeah, she already creatively came up with the story of how she was going to explain this uh, time away from the home when she had to deliver. But it was kind of like... <sighs> damned if I do, damned if I don't, but I think I've got a pretty good plan here. And But I, I do have to go to the hospital for some reason. I don't, I'm not quite sure. All right, so um, how is she feeling since the passing of her child? How is she feeling? Like, does she have regret? Does she have remorse? Six of Pentacles, two of Cups. In the past, this would be Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups can be uh, like, I'm sure that's not the proper medical diagnosis term, but I'm not uh, an official medical mental health person. Bipolar idea. 
like going from one extreme to another. There's some idea of what could have been when if she had gotten pregnant with her partner in a different time and space, um, how it could have been different. Um, I think now it's just kind of like I'm moving on with my life. I'm trying to um, do some work, maybe going to college, trying to learn and do things. There is some regret here. Um, let's see what, what is the regret? The sun? Oh. Son of a bitch. Okay. See, if I just let that go, I would have just said, oh, there's some regret here. The regret is that everybody found out about my pregnancy and what I did and now I now I feel like my backs up against the wall and I have to defend myself that's her regret that everybody found out about this shit all right dick I me trying to have sympathy trying to find sympathy in the middle I can't I don't know if you can you're a better person than I am all right so I don't know let's see Let's last end. How's this defense going to play? Defense attorney thinks this is the best thing ever. Um, is Alexi going to get off scot-free here? Okay, we got five of swords. Got the high priestess here. In the past, secrets are going to come out. So this is, a, we're dragging up the past, I think. All the stories of the past. This is how we got here because of this, this, this. We have the Queen of Wands. There's, I'm going to say there's going to be quite a bit of embellishment in this story whenever this trial comes up. Um, there's the Ace of Pentacles. That's the King of Swords, a judgment. I think she's going to walk away from this bullshit. I don't think she's going to have to do any, like, significant time or anything. She's going to walk away. That's what I'm seeing, August 29th, 2023. It, it's almost like there's um, whatever stories, past um, traumas, I guess we'll say, family drama, however that is, it's going to look like it's going to work for her in her favor where we're just playing right now with the hospital was um, negligent. It's going to go, I think, to a different level with the family drama Rama. So... I guess I'll be watching this trial. I don't know if I'm going to have a fuck to give after it, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Join me in the Moon Moth Manor, AliciaWicker.com, and I will see you next time. Adios.